Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Missing Those Lego Robotics. Today I'm going to show you the basic easy bot turned into an edge seeker. It's basically going to roam around a table, basically looking for the edge to make sure it doesn't fall off. So I'm going to show you this robot and it basically show you the program on how to make your robot so it doesn't fall off the table. Stay with me for that. Hey everybody, Mr. Hino here. Before we get to the video, a big shout out to 75 Starfish's niece who was born on May the 4th and her name is Ray. Is that not awesome? So happy birthday, Ray. I know you're too young to hear this or know who I am, or but happy birthday anyway to the family. Nice job. Okay guys, so I basically, if you remember the easy bot, I basically just added in some picture frames and an ultrasonic sensor to basically turn it now into an edge seeker. It's gonna search for the edge of a table to just make sure it doesn't fall off. So it's gonna roam around the table and basically it is kind of scary to videotape this because you know I'm trying to keep this into the picture. And you know with some of these sensors, they don't always cooperate. So I'm, I'm videotaping going, oh, I make sure it doesn't fall off the table. So I'm going to show you first the program, and then I'm going to show you guys this robot going around the table. Okay, I'm on my LEGO Mindstorms EV3 software here. The program is super easy, and you can modify this however you want, however big your table is. Go for it. So we're going to first go to the flow control, the orange tab, and we're going to pull ourselves up a loop. Okay, we want this program to just keep going and going and going until we tell it to stop. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is we're just going to pull up a move tank block and we're going to turn it on. Now what I have come to learn is um, you don't want your motor speed going so fast that you don't give your ultrasonic sensor time to uh, recognize that there's a drop off. So you want to put your motor speed kind of low. Um, you know, you're going to, I'll let you guys uh, experiment with what you want, but I'm going to keep it at 20%. Just because I know if you go too fast, you're off the table and your uh, ultrasonic sensor went, uh, I think you went a little too fast for me to recognize that there was a cliff or an edge there. Okay, the next thing we're going to pull up is a weight block. We are going to set it for your ultrasonic sensor. We're going to go to compare. Um, uh, you can do whatever you want as far as centimeters, inches. I'm going to go with inches. Okay, so let me explain this weight block right here. Um, if we click right here, obviously we're set for less than. And when the ultrasonic sensor realizes that there's an edge here, we want, we want it to be greater than. We want your ultrasonic... Uh, sensor to know that there is a big gap. So we're going to make it greater than, and we're on inches right now. So the ultrasonic sensor is not even an inch off the table when I put the robot down. So, you know, I'm going to, you could put it for however you want. I'm going to put five inches. Okay. So our robot's going to go forward. When it sees that there is a drop off of more than five inches, so at the moment, the ultrasonic sensor is, is noticing that the table is less than an inch away. And it's going to be an inch away and an inch away until it gets to the edge. And then when the ultrasonic sensor sees that, um, you know, the difference between the ultrasonic sensor and the ground is greater than five inches, then it's going to activate the next part of the program. So we'll go ahead and we'll make the robot stop. And we'll put this at 0%. Uh, we'll just put it for seconds. Okay, we'll just say stop for one second. Um, we're then going to have the robot back up. Since we're already at 20%. Okay. What we don't want to do is we don't want to back up too much because you know you don't want to 
get near the corner and end up backing off the edge of the of table, you know, going backwards. So I'm just going to set it for one second. Now the next part is you're going to have to be careful on this part here because you don't want to make too wide of turn. If you make too wide a turn, you can end up actually going off the edge, off of a different edge. So what we're going to want to do is make this almost like a spin. We want it to almost turn different direction, but like right where it's at. So I'm going to go ahead and bust out a, mm, you know what? I take that back. I'm going to go ahead and put a steering. I'm going to make one positive. I'm going to make the other negative. So there's my spin. Um, we'll make it for two seconds. So that'll give us time to have this robot go in a different direction. And then because it's looped, it will go all the way back here to the beginning and it'll start that whole thing all over again. So there's the program right there. And I'm going to go ahead and download this to my robot and I'm going to go ahead and show you how it works. Okay, everybody, here's my Edge Seeker bot. There's that ultrasonic sensor. You can see how low to the table that thing goes. So when this bot gets close to the edge and sees more than five inches of distance, that's what should activate the stop, the turnaround, or the spin, and then running this program all over again. So it's just nervous to watch because you can see how if it gets to this edge here, stops, and you know turns, you just don't want one of the wheels or the back end just getting caught up in the, you know, making your bot fall even though the program's working. So let's try this out. Just telling you, every time it gets close to this edge, I just get a little nervous. You see what I mean by when it backs up like that? You just don't want it backing up off the edge of a... See how close that tire got? Woo! backing up off the edge of a... See how close that tire got? Woo!
Okay, guys, so whew, we definitely had some close calls where I had to basically save this guy from hitting the ground. So if you do try this out, just be mindful of the corners where the robot can end up, you know, you know, as it backs up or turns, just be careful to just not assume this is going to, you know, keep your robot on the table the whole time. It would be awesome if we could have sensors on the sides too, but it's just one of those things where you just have to watch this and don't sit there and go, I'll, I'll go get a sandwich while this thing just goes on the table. You might find it on piece on, you know, in pieces on the floor. But anyway, um, you know, if you keep it, you know, somewhat straight, this guy's a champ, but again, you should always watch it because sometimes a sensor might end up, you know, picking up what it's not supposed to and not picking up what it's supposed to. So, but all in all, it's a great robot, great program. Hopefully you can try this out. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out.